Hi everyone, it's Augustus. Today I want to talk about coincidences. Most people know that the definition of a coincidence is a sequence of events that, although accidental, seems to have been planned or arranged. Well, you know, most people know that that's one of many definitions that's used for coincidences and what brought this topic on was the fact that here lately it seems like no matter where I go or what I do I am seeing people that I used to work with show up in places that I would normally shop that I would normally not see them there it, it, and it's like I get the impression that I'm being stalked or followed or it's almost like they're they're still invading my privacy trying to be nosy trying to find out about me and you know whenever I bring it up to my friends or my family they say oh it's just a coincidence oh they they just might have been there shopping or you know they they might have been there you know, because they had to buy something. Things don't happen for a reason, and it's not merely a coincidence. You know, it's something that that's usually planned or arranged is not a coincidence. It's I I could see once or twice, but when when this starts happening multiple times over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. It, it it's no longer a coincidence you know the state state or fact of occupying the same relative position or area in space is not a coincidence it, it it's it it sounds like a coincidence but it's not it's it's just flat out stalking and I know the city of Hanford is not the world's biggest city. I know it's not the only city, but I mean, it, it just seems like the timing, whenever I go shopping or whenever I go out in public, it just seems like the timing is very impeccable that these people show up in the areas that where I'm at. Or it seems like they're doing it deliberately to see what my reaction would be, be or how I'll react so they can turn around and badmouth me. And I I don't I don't appreciate it. I mean, some people would say that a coincidence is the fact can condition or state of coinciding and I don't believe that either you know things don't coincide things are not they're not always what they seem to seem and for people to sit there and say that it's a coincidence that that person's in, in the same area as me or that they might have just been there shopping. I, I, I find that very hard to believe. Especially after the amount of people that knew that I voluntarily resigned from my last employer and I didn't give notice and I just turned in everything and I don't think they like that I really don't but you know what that's too bad that's my choice they had no power over it they even and they even put it in writing that the employment was at will employment and I know for a fact that 
they were planning on terminating me and they were finding any and every reason or excuse to terminate me. And they were looking for reasons. And now it just seems like every time I turn around, one of their employees is there, even though I'm a former employee, stalking me. And that's that's what it is, stalking. I don't think it's pro well. I'm not. I'm not saying I don't think. I know it's it's not appropriate. And if I could prove it, I'd probably take him to court because it's illegal. You know, I I'm sure they could say, oh well, he was in the area. He could have been stalking me. No, no. I don't do that to people. That's not within my nature. And that really pisses me off when people do that. You know, I'm doing these vlogs to share my life with people I don't even know to get the word out out there. But at the same time, there are certain other individuals where I just want to walk up to them and say, my life is none of your fucking business. And I'm sorry if that offends people. But that's just how it is. You know, I, I, I believe I've said it before. I'm not going to let people control me. I'm not going to let people tell me what to do. And I'm not going to let people boss me around and I'm not going to be a pushover just because people think that. I'm not allowing it. So, nothing is a coincidence unless I decide it's a coincidence. And I don't appreciate people telling me, oh, it's just a coincidence. It's not a coincidence. When you plan or arrange something, that doesn't make it a coincidence. It makes it conspicuous. And to cause that kind of mischief, it really has to raise other questions. I mean, I don't show up to a gro uh, I don't show up to two different grocery stores. And the fact is, is it wasn't really even the same person. They both work at the same place, but not the same people. But where I used to work, everyone out there mingled and socialized, and they had their own little network and click groups. And... It was very disgusting and very unprofessional, and I just found it... I found it really annoying. Because they wanted to pry into my life, and I wanted to keep my personal life separate from work. And every time I turned around, they were just digging deeper and deeper into my life. My life is none of their fucking business. When I go to work, I go there to work. I don't go there to socialize. I don't go there... I said that when I was working there, and I'm saying it now because that's that's who I am. And I don't appreciate people not believing me and thinking that I should try to be more friendly or trying to be more sociable or, you know, I... No. No. And, and the fact is, is I really don't even want my coworkers talking to me at all. I don't even want them saying hello to me. Let alone my boss. You know? I mean, if he, if he or she or them or they told me to do something, yeah, I'd do it. Depending on how they asked. Now, I, I had one supervisor where... Well, let's just say I'll never go... Uh, as long as she she's working there, I will never go back to that company and work for it. Ever. Ever. And I, I really don't care if they say, oh, well, we'd never rehire him anyway. I, I don't care. That's not the point. She's a liar, and I don't trust her. And I will get the final say on that. 
to something because the things that she did were not a coincidence. And she knew what she was doing. So I don't really have to go into detail on that, but most of those people I've blocked on Facebook because I don't want to socialize with them and I, I, I'm I tired of them invading my life. And, you know, the fact that they say, oh, well, we don't give a fuck about your life or we don't care. I don't believe that. Uh, I, I, I believe that, that they're trying to find anything and everything out they possibly can about me. So they can just go tell the next employer not to hire me. And they want and they want to stand by the, the words and say, "Oh well, legally we can't do that," or you know, because that's against law. Well, yeah, it is against law, but that still isn't stopping you from doing it. So that's not really a coincidence. That's just a fact. And I don't have to trust anything that they say. That's that's the problem with most places. That's why I can't stand to work for companies. That's why I cannot stand. You know, even though I need a job, but yet they won't hire me. It's a two-way fucking street. And nothing, nothing in this world is a coincidence. That really pisses me off when people say, oh, it's just a coincidence. It's not. So, I, I really don't think that, you know, things happen for a reason either. Nothing happens for a reason. It's usually planned or arranged. It's usually a series of events. And the fact that when you're planning or arranging something, that usually means you're up to no good. And I, I've, I've lost count of how many times where I used to work, people would do do something like that. I mean, they they were always plotting, and I'm not the I'm really not the type of person to say that that people are out to get me because I don't believe that I don't believe people are out to get me. But my last place of employment, I am gonna have to say that about them because they were always planning something. I can never really trust anything that they say or did. They were always two-facing everything. Just They'd say one thing, they'd do something else. They couldn't make up their minds. They were wishy-washy. I mean, they just... It's horrible. It, it it really really it really was horrible out there, and I'm glad I resigned. I I I was not happy with the people out there. I was happy with the work. I was not happy with the people. Those people are, are just horrible, absolutely utterly horrible. And I'm glad I'm gone. So. Maybe in the future I'll, I'll find something else and maybe something will cross my path. Because surely not everyone is going to believe those idiots. And that's what they are, idiots. They always think that that they're on top and that they have the last say and not this time. No, no, not this time. So, that's all I'm going to really say, because nothing in this world is a coincidence, and I don't believe that things happen for a reason. Things like that piss me off. They know that by saying that, it pisses me off. In a way, they're, they're the equivalent of a troll, an internet troll, except they do it to your face. And I don't appreciate it. It's disrespectful. 
people like that, I want to just knock their teeth out. So, that's all I'm going to really say about that. Maybe I'll post another vlog later. But, this is more of a rant. And I know I said I wouldn't rant, but coincidences really piss me off. And when I start seeing people following me around, that's no coincidence. So, if you come across this and you know what I'm talking about, I feel sorry for you. Especially having to put up with that. And that's all I'm going to say. You have a good day.